Uh, my question is for, uh, for Kelly. In, when talking about the BP uh, disaster in the Gulf or uh, Beyond Petroleum, I think is what BP stands for, the, um, I mentioned that the regulators didn't do their job uh, regulating BP and we should blame the regulators and not BP. And I think that across the board in a lot of, in a lot of these things, like with the bank bailouts, you mentioned that um, you mentioned that you thought that that, that wasn't capitalism, that, that was crony capitalism. But capitalism has been in existence around the world for 300 years. It's had plenty of, like, this idea of that there's this real capitalism out here. They have had every opportunity, generations of opportunity, to create real capitalism. And there's been all kinds of different forms of capitalism, from highly regulated versions, like in Europe, like in Europe to, way, to completely unregulated versions, like the gangster capitalism of the Wild West, or the gangster capitalism that existed in Russia after the, um, uh, after the fall of the Soviet Union. Um, there's been massive corporations that have had humongous power throughout the existence of capitalism, from the East India Company to the, to the uh, railroad barons in the United States, um, to the Walmarts of today. I mean, there's been every form of capitalism out there. And yes, we could say that the problem is the, re and the relationship between the government, which is run by the Democrats and Republicans, and big business. I don't think there's a single person in this room that would disagree with the fact that they are totally linked. But to just say that the problem is the government, and to not recognize that that government is being, that that government's not there accidentally, that government has been highly influenced by the humongous power that big business has because of their money, their money to put up politicians, their money to their control of the media, their control of, uh, their, they've written all these laws mm -hmm. that give them so much, that give, that remove all these regulations. But, so my question is basically, who, um, isn't it just a, isn't it just a little simplistic to look at the government and not to not to blame the power of the corporations that have made that government what it is? Um, there's a couple things. One is is that again they haven't actually gotten rid of these regulations that we were talking about. They exist. They're just not enforcing them. So these regulations do exist. It's, it's that they're not enforcing them. So they haven't gotten rid of them per se. It's that they're not enforcing them. Um, second is. Again, if the government didn't have the money from the people to dole out to the corporations, then the corporations would have no influence because the government would say, you know, go suck it. We don't have money to give you. Like, it's, it's the, the government takes our money, has this pool of money. I mean, is, there's, there's no wonder why last year was a record year for lobbyists because of the stimulus bill. They, it was like pigs to the trough. They said, wow, $787 billion, great. Every industry is going to send their lobbyists. But if they didn't have that money, those lobbyists wouldn't have had jobs. They wouldn't have had the opportunity to go and lobby for things. So to me, you have to look at the root of the problem. And I think what you're looking at is maybe you know the stem or the leaves. And I believe that the root of the problem is, uh, is giving the government so much money that they can then turn around and do all these favors and kickbacks and everything back to the, their special interests. And I would say the other part of it is, is, uh, requires activism on the part of the everyday citizen. I mean, if we, if, you know, we do have to fight against the collusion of big government and big business. And how do we do that? We do that by electing people and holding them accountable, whether or not they're socialists or Ron Paul or uh, whoever, you know, capital, capitalist tickles your fancy, it's, it's up to us to keep them accountable. And if they, if they start to turn around and, and collude with big business, then we unelect them. I mean, that's our job. And I think the American people, honestly, who've been a little bit lazy over, <laughs> over the last few years, on all sides, uh, keeping them accountable. So I think that's a large part of it. So